Sankar D. Raja PCC delegation to meet Sonia Gandhi today. DIPR observes National Press Day. Tom Sunil hopes to complete his helicopter in five months' time. Good afternoon, you're watching the news at one. I'm Mandira, and now the news in detail. After CPI leader D. Raja, the delegation of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, MPCC, led by Congress Legislator Party, leader and former Chief Minister Okra Mibobi, will meet Congress President Sonia Gandhi this evening in New Delhi. According to reports, the delegates will apprise Sonia of the prevailing situation in the state amid media reports that the de decades-long Indonaga peace talks will come to a conclusion with a final pact soon. The meeting with Sonia Gandhi was earlier scheduled at 11 a.m. today, but it was later postponed to 5 p.m., sources in PCC said. Yesterday, CLP leader O. Ibobi Singh, along with party MLAs on Friday, met Dorai Sami Raja, MP and General Secretary of CPI at the party head office, New Delhi. The MPCC delegation is currently in the national capital to meet different central leaders over the situation unfolding in Manipur in the aftermath of the recent Indo-Naga agreement, which will pave the way for inking a final accord. In the meeting, the Congress team apprised D. Raja of the restive situation in the state arising out of the Indo-Naga talks. The PCC team submitted a memorandum to the CPI leader urging him to extend all possible help to raise the issue in the parliament to protect the territorial integrity of Manipur against the Naga Peace Accord and also not to reintroduce the Citizenship Amendment Bill in the House. Diraja assured the PCC delegation that the issue would be put up for discussion in the upcoming winter session of parliament. National Press Day 2019 is being observed all across the nation today. The Directorate of Information and Public Relations Government of Manipur is also celebrating the day at the DIPR office located at Nithyaipath, Chitik, Imphal. Marking the day, a workshop on reporting, interpretation, a journey is being held. Minister of Information and Public Relations, T.H. Viswajit Singh, Chairman of Manitron and Manitko, Radeshyam Yumnam and Director, IPR, Government of Manipur, H. Balakrosna Singh. MCs are attending the function as main guest. Senior journalist Pradeep Fanjobam and several other senior journalists are taking part in the workshop. This world is full of people blessed with tall imagination and creative ideas. One of them is a local mechanic by the name Thokchom Sunil of Kulakpam Lekai in Khangambuk Patu of Manipur. Whether you believe it or not, it would be a dream come true for Sunil if succeeded in completing his big project of building a model helicopter at his courtyard. He even challenged that his helicopter will fly up in the open sky early next year. Here's a Tom to be exclusive report. Talking to Tom TV, the man behind the dream, Sunil said that, keeping in view of frequent burnt and blockade in the state, the idea of making the flying machine clicked his mind and then he began buying raw materials for the dream project seven years back. Sunil added, he used modified engines and other spare parts of cars and jeep for the helicopter. <laughs> Sunil also explained that all the raw materials being used are easily available in the market and so far around rupees 15 lakh has been spent in the helicopter. He asserted that his copter will be filled by petrol and will carry up to 8 passengers. He also informed that the chopper will have a 35 liter capacity fuel tank and will fly for 18 hours non stop. The 
steam engine oil na car ki ha aduga tinki jina 35 liters at capacity aduga ma ki function taw ga da ba timer sina khara kanu taw ba aingon da dim thau durim ni na sai khara hinsap da tu khara extra happy ta bya roi ba ai adu mangna last machine ge hepso ya banna te ba aduna asom da amuk taw tar ga di twenty आवर्स फंक्शन तो भी आ गए। Talking to Tom TV, Sunil's wife recalled, on that particular day, her husband went to buy a car for himself, but he returned home with raw materials for making a helicopter. She first insists on returning the materials, but finally she let him follow his dream and supported him in his work instead. तिंगेन खाली दो तिंगनो है ना बताइए सुन बताइए ना हंड्रेड के शीत या हम जमान तो तब या हम तिंगा में भाई ना มันใช่อาปามที่ตกเจอแล้วสนุกนักกิจสิทธิ์มาเคยบอกสร้างอย่างนี้แล้วสนุกขันไปนะแต่ประชาธิไอ้นักขันมาทับชูไปขึ้น
Special discount to welcome the winter of 2019. 10% discount on labor charts. 5% discount on spare parts for Hyundai cars only. Benefits on purchase of 4 Michelin tires. Free alignment, free balancing, free nitrogen, free removing and refitting. 3 years warranty on all tires. For more details, please visit SM Motors Airport Road near Comprehensive Concept School 795001. Contact number 9366508258. Welcome back. Namjing Banidhi Limited today held the first annual meeting of its members and shareholders at Classic Hotel North AOC Imphal. The meet was attended by Managing Director of Namjing Group, Waikum Hirojit, Director of Tom TB, Mutum Byron, Branch Manager, Nidhi Limited, Tenjam Amarjit, Director Salam Ashok, along with members and shareholders. Nidhi Limited also launched a prepaid debit card at the grant event. Monolith of Nampi Lumsong Anglo Kuki War 1917 to 1919 was unveiled at Churachanpur district of Manipur during a function held this morning. The monolith was erected by new Zalenfai village authority under the directive of Kuki in P Manipur in commemoration of the Anglo Kuki War 1917 1919. The ceremony was attended by President of Kuki in Pichura Chanpur, Daniel Gangte, Secretary Lalko Hao Song Loi, and Organization Secretary as Pamin Thang Vaipei, Kuki Women or Union, and area chief apart from several people. The five feet tall monolith is inscribed with the controversial words in defense of our ancestral land and freedom. Uh, 17, uh, sorry, 1917, 1919, uh, the celebration of the celebration of the celebration of uh, British got Chahi Ahum Lan uh, Lan Tianaki Adu Chahi Ahum 1917 to 1919 the Moina Lan Tonabatu uh, 2017 uh, to 2019 Sida Chahi Chama Centenary uh, uh, Chahi Chama Subagini Adu Nagaland Governor and the Government of India's interlocutor for the Indo Naga Peace Talks, R. N. Ravi, met with leaders of the United Naga Council on November 2015 and stressed on the need to maintain peace and harmony among the different communities of Manipur state, as per media reports. A press release from the OSD to the Nagaland Governor informed that the meeting was held in pursuance of the Governor's desire for a comprehensive resolution of the Naga issue with due regards to the sensitivities of all the stakeholders, including the neighbours. The UNC leaders were briefed about the current status of the peace talks, including the significant development of amicably settling all contentious issues between the negotiating parties. Queries of the UNC leaders were clarified, the press release stated. Pointing out that the Naga issue is at the stage of settlement, the UNC leaders were reminded of their responsibility in ensuring that Naga tribes of Manipur maintain cordial relationship with fellow communities of the state. Ravi further expressed concern over deterioration in the traditional but brotherly relation between the hill and the valley people of Manipur in recent decades due to the politics of vested interests. All Manipur Press Association celebrates its 49th Foundation Day today at the Sangai Hall of Hotel Imphal. Education Minister T. H. Radhe Shyam, MLA of Sekmai Constituency H. Dingo Singh, Secretary and Joint Secretary of Board of Secondary Education Manipur, Social Worker Oinam Roman Singh and President of AMPA Sanjam Surjit were on the dais during the celebration. It's time for another short break. Stay tuned. Smart Tutorial Center Revision course for Class 12 will start from 11 November and for Class 10 from 12 December 2019. Run by well-trained and experienced board and council teachers. Concession for ex-smart students. 
transport facilities and separate hostels for boys and girls available. For more details, please contact Smart Tutorial Center, Singhzamish Supermarket, Radhishyam Shopping Complex. Contact number 8730-999192. SS Enterprises ta miyam gi damak leijare makhal makha kya gi sound lights tees amadi ten house ki polam sing makhal khuding makki light amadi luhong khongdong bagi polam sing gi damak 10% discount pijari aku pamarol gi damak contact to bu SS Enterprises kiam gai khoirom laikai near youth social club contact number 8837218002 Yang what? Sok thabu nulu di. Wab do kong nabar rebalance. Sok thabu do kong nabar rebalance. Rebalance to haksang is sold. Amadi electrolyte singi awat pa mekat tuna. Adong gi haksang bu tangkat tangkat tik na thambang amali. Rebalance hai badi electrolytes amadi energy. Iramdamda fangba polam singna iramdam asimakta da sajaba kangla gi polam sing fangbi ragani luhong panthana lagpada miyam gi damak leizare lai makabo loinana luhong bagi yakana ba discount su izari akupa maro gi damak contact to bu 8131877217 natraga 9612056941 kangla kabok chabiu yamna haugni kangla lai makabo Welcome back. At least four persons died and three were injured early today when a boiler exploded at a community kitchen in Sagoli block of Bihar's East Champaran district. As per media reports, the injured have been admitted to a government hospital in Motihari. District Superintendent of Police Upendra Sharma has confirmed the incident and said the blast was so powerful that the bodies were smoothed into pieces. The bodies were reportedly sent to a government hospital for post-mortem. Travelling by Rajdhani Express, Shatabdi Express and Duronto trains will get costlier as the railway board has decided to hike the prices of meals on board these trains, which will result in the slight hike in their fares. As per media reports, the railway board in its new order has stated that in first class AC and executive class, a cup of tea will cost Rs 35 and increase by Rs 6. Price of breakfast has been raised by Rs 7 and it will now cost Rs 140 and with an increase of rupees 15 dinner will cost rupees 245 prices of meals have been hiked for other classes as well now we have the sports news Meghalaya defeated Mumbai in the penultimate Group D League match of the Syed Mustaq Ali 2020 trophy at the Wankari Stadium in Mumbai yesterday. According to a media report, Meghalaya's three guest players Ravi Teja, Puneet Bist and Sanjay Yadav propelled the team to a six-wicket win with four balls to spare. Battling first, Mumbai set the visitors a modest target of 158 for the visitors, which the visitors overcame in the 20th overriding of fairy half century by Ravi Teja, 16 not out, and Sanjay Yadav, 55. India declared their first innings at overnight score of 493 for 6 in reply to Bangladesh, 150 in the opening test match at Indore today. According to media reports, Ravindra Jadeja and Umesh Yadav remained unbeaten on 60 and 25 respectively. On the other hand, Bangladesh scored 150 by losing all wicket in 58.3 overs. The home team is leading by 343 runs. Now the local newspaper headlines. The Sangai Express joined Miyam Ginumit and Hill Leaders Day. 
Chief Minister reiterates trust and centers assurance. Ceasefire monitoring group for smooth transition of NSCN group of the final pact. CAB on government's agenda for winter session. Congress team meets CPI's D. Raja. The People's Chronicle. Public sentiment opinions aired to Amit Saha, says Chief Minister. Hill Valley rift over Naga talks worries RN Ravi. CAB move puts AASU on stir mode. Not sifting away from AEP, says MEA Minister. Infall Free Press. State Assembly session will be convened if situation demands, says Chief Minister. High Court quashes order on Lokoipat Bishnupur. Directs the state government to issue pata as per law. Reach out to Valley Brethren in the spirit of peace, says RN Ravi to UNC. Amit Saha's verbal assurance can pacify the public, says MPDA. The Morning Bell. Manipur ranked 6th in Niti Ayok SDZ India Index. Opinions and wishes of people, CSOs shared with Amit Shah, says Chief Minister Birin, to invite Kokomi stakeholders for discussion. MPRK Ranjan questions logic behind demand for return assurances. Overground member of KCP P arrested. Ibobi led Congress team six support from CPI. Manipur Mail. Chief Minister Birain to invite Kokomi for talks with central leaders. Congress begins campaign in Delhi. NGT recommends compensation to families of deceased minors. Now before we wrap up the top stories once again. After D. Raja, PCC delegation to meet Sonia Gandhi today. DIPR observes National Press Day. Chong Sunil hopes to complete his helicopter in five months' time. This is all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.